Welcome to the Equipment Training Solutions Signal Person Training Program. This program was designed to give clear and concise demonstrations on the proper technique for delivering standard method hand signals and voice signals in the construction industry in accordance with the OSHA Construction Crane Standard 1926.1400. At the top of the page, you will notice a main menu bar consisting of six buttons. The Home button, the Signals button, the Limitations button, the Requirements button, the Examples button, and the Tutorial button. Each of these buttons, when selected, will take you to the corresponding sections of our program. If at any point you wish to return to the Home page, simply select using the left-click option, the Home Page button. This will return you to the main page of the program. The Signals section. By left-clicking on the Signals button, you will be directed to the Signals section of our program. You will notice on the right side of your screen a list of 22 buttons. These buttons represent the 20 standard hand signals in accordance with OSHA 1926.1400 Appendix A and the two AMSE B30.5 only signals. By left-clicking on one of these buttons, a video will be displayed demonstrating a crane moving through one of its functions and a demonstration of the proper hand signal that coincides with the crane function being displayed. There will also be written instructions on how to perform this hand signal along with a tip to keep in mind while performing the hand signal. If at any time you wish to pause this demonstration, you may do so by rolling over the video. This will reveal a play button on the bottom left hand corner of the video. This button allows you to stop and start the video as you feel necessary to become familiar with the standard hand signal. If at the end of the video you wish to view it again, you may do so by clicking the play button. When you are finished with this demonstration, simply select another signal from the list on the right hand side of the screen. When you have completed and have comfortable knowledge of all 22 standard hand signals, you may move on to another section of the program by selecting another button from the main menu bar. The Limitations section. By left-clicking on the Limitations button, you will be directed to the Limitations section of our program. You will notice on the right-hand side of your screen a list of 11 buttons. These buttons represent 11 examples of the limitations that crane operators face while moving the crane through its functions. A signal person must have a basic understanding of crane functions and limitations to avoid damage to property and or personnel. By left-clicking on one of these buttons, a brief description of the limitation will be displayed as well as another set of buttons containing examples of the coinciding limitation. By left-clicking on one of these buttons, a video will be displayed demonstrating what may happen if these limitations are not kept in mind while signaling the crane. If at any time you wish to pause this demonstration, you may do so by rolling over the video. This will reveal a play button on the bottom left-hand corner of the video. This button allows you to stop and start the video as you feel necessary to become familiar with limitation. If at the end of the video you wish to view it again, you may do so by clicking the play button. When you are finished with this demonstration, simply select another limitation from the list on the right-hand side of the screen. When you have completed and have comfortable knowledge of all 11 limitations and their examples, you may move on to another section of the program by selecting another button from the menu bar. The Requirements section. By left-clicking on the Requirements button, you will be directed to the Requirements section of our program. This section will demonstrate all of the requirements that a signal person must comply with in accordance to OSHA and ASME. This section consists of 41 pages. Once you have read and understand the information given on the page, you may advance to the next page by simply left-clicking anywhere on the page. If for any reason you wish to return to a previous page, you may do so by left-clicking on the back arrow at the bottom left-hand corner of the page. Once you have read and understand all 41 pages of the signal person requirements, you may move on to another section of the program by selecting another button from the menu bar. The Examples section. By selecting the Examples button, you will be directed to the Examples section of our program. This section is designed to give you examples of voice signals as well as test your knowledge of the 22 standard hand signals and their use in a practical application. 
You will notice on the right side of your screen two sets of buttons, Examples and Practice Scenarios. By left-clicking on one of the buttons in the Examples section, a video will be displayed demonstrating a crane moving through one of its functions and an audible demonstration of the proper voice signal that coincides with the crane function being displayed. Hoist up slowly, slowly, hoist up 50 feet, 25 feet, 10 feet, 5 feet, hoist stop. If at any time you wish to pause this demonstration, you may do so by rolling over the video. This will reveal a play button on the bottom left hand corner of the video. This button allows you to stop and start the video as you feel necessary to become familiar with the standard voice signal. If at the end of the video you wish to view it again, you may do so by clicking the play button. When you are finished with this demonstration, simply select another signal from the list on the right hand side of the screen. When you have completed and have comfortable knowledge of all the standard voice signals, you may move on to the practice scenarios. The practice scenario section was designed to test your knowledge of the standard hand signals you have learned in the program. By left-clicking on one of the 10 practice buttons, a video will be displayed demonstrating a crane moving through one of its functions. This will give you the opportunity to practice giving the standard hand signals that coincide with the crane function being displayed. This demonstration will not automatically play. You must first roll over the image on screen and left-click on the play button in the left-hand corner of the video. You may also use this button to stop and start the video as you feel necessary to gain a proper understanding of the crane function being displayed. When you are finished with the practice scenario, you may find your answer by clicking on the answer button directly to the right of the practice button. This will demonstrate as well as list the proper hand signals that coincide with the crane function you previously viewed. Once you have completed all 10 practice scenarios and are confident in your ability to give the proper standard hand signals, you may select another section of the program from the menu bar. Once you have completed all of the sections of the ETS Signal Person Training Program and have a comfortable understanding of their contents, you may move on to the review questions in your ETS Signal Person Training Program Student Guide.